right. Again, uh, what's uh, tremendous is that this looks totally normal. Uh, the pump is in the scrotum. Behind the testicles will not interfere with the uh, sexual activity. Patient is able to achieve deep uh, penetration. The penis feels very soft in the flaccid state. Once you go ahead and uh, inflate the device, This is terrific. This is exactly uh, what a, a firm erection of a 25-year-old man looks like. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and, and <laughs> it looks really great. Go ahead and dish later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. To deflate to make it go faster. Uh, the gentleman here uh, pushes on the on the release valve and at the same time squeezes the uh, penis in order to uh, hasten the uh, return of the uh, saline into the uh, reservoir. Very nice. You can bring it down a little bit more if you want by squeezing it a bit harder and. Uh, the the incision to put in the device is right here, and you can see it's, it's completely healed and it's totally invisible to the naked eye. You can maybe see it a little bit here. There's a very thin line. The whole device is put through this incision and takes about uh, 45 minutes to do. This is awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so... This is a, a patient with an inflatable penile prosthesis, uh, and you can see that the cylinders are very soft. The penis is very, uh, very normal texture to it. Uh, the uh, pump is over here. It's in the scrotum. It looks like a, a testicle. And uh, in order to get an erection, all the patient has to do is find the pump and then squeeze the pump. I'm going to gently inflate and deflate. And as we're inflating, you can see the patient is getting an erection, and the more uh, one inflates, the firmer the erection. And you can see that the penis is uh, enlarging in girth and rigidity up to 100 pounds per square inches. And you can see that the it's very normal erection, the whole uh, size of the penis uh, uh, enlarges. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and inflate some more. As the pressure goes up in the penis, so does the pressure in the pump, and so it gets a little bit slippery, and one has to be careful uh, not to let it slip out. And so this is the erection. It's got really a tremendous uh, girth to it, and the incision to which uh, this was inserted is over here. If you can see it, it's a very tiny incision. You can hardly see the the scar uh, anymore. When the patient no longer wants to have sex, all he has to do is press the release valve and hold, and the erection will come right down. And it, it really mimics, you can see that the, the, the penis is coming down. To make it go a little faster, one can grab the shaft of the penis and squeeze it from side to side. This will facilitate re the return of the uh, saline uh, that is filling the device uh, back into uh, the reservoir for storage. And again, this is the, uh, the erection down. Uh, why don't you go ahead, and now we're going to have the patient uh, inflate and deflate uh, just to illustrate how uh, he does it. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah.
So this is a this is a, also a nice view to look at it like this. This is a great erection. Okay, so this is a tremendous erection. Very good. Okay, once you go ahead and deflate it uh, from this angle. Just open yeah. and then press. This is a great angle, actually. Uh, when when we do one more. You can do this. Yeah, good. Uh, That's so good. Liquid will go back to the reservoir. Very nice. Could you mind? Uh, doing it, inflating, deflating one more time. Sure. And so we're going to deflate it fully and then have you inflate it again. Okay. Is it ready? Yes. Okay. okay. I, Good. I, I always hold the thing with my, hand, my left hand and then I start pumping. Okay, this is terrific. And why don't you go ahead and deflate it now? Okay, yep. I hold my pen in with my left hand and then I press the deflator. And you could feel the liquid running down to the reservoir. So if you want to expedite it, just gently push, squeeze like this so the liquid will move faster out of the reservoir on the, on each, uh, the cylinders on each side. Terrific. Very nice. Okay. Red. Okay. I always have a habit of holding the fingers in my hand. And then start inflating it. Or pumping, whatever you want to call it. And also, sometimes as you pump, give a few seconds so it come back in the fall in the normal. So then you continue. There's no way more liquid faster goes into the cylinder on each side. A little bit more, yeah. Okay. Make it real hard. Okay. It's okay. terrific. And then uh, uh, turn just a little bit towards me. Yeah. Great. And now deflate it. Deflate it, okay, yeah. all the, the spending, and then push the deflator. You could feel the uh, liquid going back to the reservoir. And to expedite it, just push, gently push the cylinder on each side. That's great. Okay. Can you deflate just a tiny bit more? Yes, sir. Tiny bit more, so it looks really okay. flaccid. Yes, sir. Okay. So squeezing the whole cylinders, yeah. Okay. Good. Looks great.
good. And if you could turn away from me a little bit now, just yes, good. So we can, they can see it a little bit more, just a little bit more. Yeah, good. Terrific.